church. I'm going to feel it. I'm just not going to be it. So if I'm walking in the end of the day, it really doesn't matter what the enemy throws at me. What matters is how I respond. If I know that I'm more than a conqueror, I could just get the worst news in the world, but I'm still more than a conqueror. Amen. I don't know if this is coming on me the right way, but they're going to fix this microphone soon. I also see, whenever I have to walk in dominion over my feelings, over my thoughts, yes. over depression, yes. over yes. oppression, yes. over yes. heaviness, because these things are going to come after me all the time. But I got to know that I have authority over that. Not authority to stop it from happening, authority to walk above it when it does happen. Yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Am I here by myself this morning? So we just want to talk just a little bit because I want you to know who you are. It does, it's not, it's not going to be absence of trouble. Amen. Trouble's going to come. That's, right. That's a point in your life. I promise you some trouble coming your way this week. And it's going to come and you're not looking for it. That's true. And it's going to trump and you're, and Listen, you ain't got nothing to do with it. It's just going to show up. Amen. Because trouble has an appointment in your life yeah. to make you grow. And it's going to keep coming. As you keep growing in the million, trouble is going to keep coming so you can keep stepping out. And I, Amen. Yes. if you look at it from the perspective of God, it's going to be the right thing to do. Somebody say amen. 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 This is kind of moving the spirit. Somebody say amen. amen. <laughs> Y'all keep afraid of Someone say amen. <laughs> so let, let's just look at some scripture here because I, I really, man, I feel, I feel so good about your life. And I, I want to drum something into you. And I will keep drumming it until we all get it, Nico. I want you to know who you are and what you have. Religion has done us a great disservice. Yeah. It really has. And God has called us up. And you and I, we have no choice. Because tell, let me tell you something. And I'm telling you this from my heart. If you had a choice, you wouldn't be here this morning. Amen. Amen. You already said that. Amen. I ain't even Amen. drink no coffee this morning. This is the amen. first time in many years. I, I didn't have time. I first to get to church. I'm going to say, man, I had my two hours to study before I, I, I got up. I prayed for two hours. Then it's time to get dressed. Amen. We'll adjust. I'll get up early next Sunday. Wow. Come on, say amen. So you don't need to get that. Let, let me read this. Let me read the scripture to you. I feel good about your life. I'm trying to preach with the Holy Ghost. It's more, I'm, I feel good about your life. Amen. Oh, no, 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 no. I feel good about your life. I feel good about what God is doing with you. I feel good about what you're receiving. I feel good about your victory. I feel good about the record of God concerning your life. And if you're hearing my voice this morning, it's because you have, there's a record already written about your life. And no devil can't change that. Glory to God. Can I talk? It's not going to happen because you prayed. It's not going to happen because you were good. It's not going to happen because you fasted. It's not going to happen because you served church. It's going to happen because Jesus got up. Y'all know what I mean. That's what's going to happen because of that. And sometimes you got to reverse that when that devil tell you that you're fed. You got to say, well, Jesus got up. Amen. So if I can't do nothing to make it happen, you can't do nothing to stop it. Amen. I don't hear by myself. I don't swear this morning. See, sometimes you got to get, I, I'm trying to get to this. Sometimes you got to make that devil understand because you know he can try to convince you this morning. You're wasting your time. Yeah. Yes, God. Yeah. Or oh, I guess I'm the only one. Awesome. The people who want to be honest, amen. Amen. You know he tried to convince you you're wasting your time. God is not real. It's not for you. It's for everybody else. Yeah. And, he, and, and he'll try to drop, bring some history up to tell you this that happened, that that happened. You believe this. You believe that. Nothing happened. And the Holy Ghost just put this in me this morning. I didn't plan on saying it. But he gave me, I, 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 I expelled devils when I came up. When he showed me, child, if your actions can't make it happen, how can the actions of the devil stop it from happening? Amen. I'm talking to people over here. I don't think I'm going to write this. Let me say it again. You need to get this. Because the devil is good at what he does. He'll try to discourage you and make you angry and frustrated. But if you understand with a conviction that if you can't do nothing to make it happen because it's eternal, what can he do to stop it? There is no living being on this earth that can change God's eternal plan. Eternal means unchangeable. When you have eternal life, that means it's unchangeable. Eternal salvation is unchangeable. Salvation not gonna change because you go to the club. Amen. <laughs> or some of y'all will be in trouble. Yes, Somebody say amen. Thank God I'm gonna change because of that. Yes, God. <laughs> Listen, some of y'all have made me grow up so big time, but let me tell you now. I'm out there with you. Listen, go live your life. Amen. I'm gonna amen. tell you why right here in a minute. My Lord. Go live your life. That's true. Stop letting what religion told you keep in bondage. You only got but a certain amount of time that God appointed you to be on this earth. You got a small window to enjoy this and have life and have it more abundantly. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah. But you yeah. let somebody else bind you up, or some religion bind you up, or some denomination bind you up, with scriptures that don't even uh, 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 relate to you, they take it and try to beat you over the head with something that's obsolete. I'm going to take a sidebar, but some of y'all don't believe this. Uh, yeah. Let me go to John, 1 John chapter 3, Octavia. Hurry up. This is just a sidebar. See, I want to show somebody here something this morning that I want you to get. 1 John chapter 3, I believe it is. 1 John chapter 3. Stop sinning. Yes, yes, yes. Right? But he said he, he was manifested to take away yes, sin. Yes. So Jesus fulfilled every requirement of God for sin. Yes. And not only for the sins of us in the church, for the sins of the whole world. That's true. That's true. That's true. So that means that everybody in the world is saved. Amen. Yes, yeah, true. Wow. Come on. <sighs> Teach us. Can I talk to y'all here? Because you know what the church says, you need to pray for your family members to get saved. No. You pray for them to receive the gift. Yes. Wow, that's good. Amen. They're already saved. Oh, God. Somebody got to say this, Michelle. Are you going to hear what I'm saying? You already saved. Jesus died to save you because the whole world was in sin through Adam. And that's why you have to understand. I got God help me. That's why you got to understand the covenant that you have. I'm not going to preach this. Let me talk about something else. Can I talk to you all about this covenant thing that we have? See, because how can two walk together saying they be agreed? Yes, God. And there's a covenant of record. Remember I told you, you know, like when you have a principal at a school, that's the principal of record. The principal that was there last time don't have nothing to do with what's going on now. 